happens. Next thing on the news and notes here, Kenny Pickett gets dropped in uh, Good Morning Football's top five quarterbacks under the age of five by Jamie. Or Oh, Erdell? okay. It's Jamie, Jamie, Buck- Buck- Jamie Buckman. Jamie Buckman. Er- Erdell, I believe, is her maiden name. My apologies. I don't really watch a lot of Good Morning Football, but, you know, well-respected <laughs> people over there. I always enjoy it when I do catch it. Kenny Pickett in her top five drops number five on the top five QBs under the age of 25. Number one is Jalen Hurts. I think that's a given. Trevor Lawrence falls in number two. Brock Purdy, number three. Justin Fields, four. And then Kenny Pickett, five. Thoughts? I'm not too happy with this list. I won't lie to you. Well, so the first thing that strikes me is Justin Fields behind Brock Purdy. That's That seems pretty crazy to me. I'm a big Justin Fields guy. I'm higher on him than others, but whatever. Kenny Pickett, I feel like, is in this list kind of by default almost. Yeah. Um, not that he's bad, but it also seems like we're counting on a big step forward from him. And that okay. seems to be kind of the general consensus around Steelers fans in the league is that, yeah, what Kenny did last year alone probably wouldn't merit him getting into this in this list and making him, you know, one of the better quarterbacks at his age. But he everyone seems to be counting on a big step forward for him. Yeah. So that's just a lot of pressure for him to kind of live up to this billing. Um, I I have no gripes with Kenny being on this list, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Some of the guys that are ahead of him, I guess one of the guys that are ahead of him, I I don't know if I agree with it. So the the Justin Fields one gets me because if you're going to judge Kenny Pickett off of what he's about to do, I feel like you got to do the same thing with Justin Fields because Justin Fields didn't have an impressive year last year. It was just the ground. He was incredible on the ground. Like the easiest bet in football was the over on whatever Justin Fields rushing numbers were for 15 weeks of the season. But at the same time, like he didn't, he didn't impress through his arm. There were a lot of questions about whether or not he's like the guy for the bears, which I, you know, I'm with you. I think Justin Fields is a phenomenal quarterback. I got no worries about what Justin Fields can do with the team around him, but I kind of feel the same way about Kenny Pickett. Like, I didn't watch Kenny Pickett last year and go, oh, this guy is going to stink. If you, As long as you put a good team around him, I feel he's going to be totally fine and, and a good quarterback. Brock Purdy is the name on here that kind of like, eh, to me. I think the Brock Hardy, Birdie pipe is, Purdy, excuse me, hype is is real. It's it's near, or it's uh, it's allowed, like, you know, it's warranted. I don't I just... I look at it and say, what is, you know, how much praise can we give this guy if we're going to talk about how Kyle Shanahan is just the greatest quarterback coach of all time? Like, if we're going to sit here and say anybody can win in Brock or in Kyle Shanahan's offense, why is Brock Purdy like this gift from God quarterback? And then people are going to bag on everybody. Cause, like, if that's the case, let's hold everybody to the same ground and let's judge them off of their coaches and their play. And if that's the case, what Kenny Pickett did to lead a team to 7 and 2 and a 9 and 8 record with the worst offensive coordinator football has seen in the last decade, then I mean that's that's pretty good to me. Like I think that that's I think that that deserves a little bit of praise. I I just I think it's hard to judge off of one season for both of them because I'm I'm a little worried Brock Purdy's going to fall off, but I'm also a little worried maybe Kenny Pickett doesn't make the huge jump that we expect him to. But I think, yeah, I think Justin Fields is the easiest one to to jump, I guess. I don't know about jump. I don't know if I don't know if I'm jumping Kenny Pickett over Justin Fields or Brock Purdy. I just think that the argument has to be made for both of them. Yeah. You gotta judge everyone on the same curve. Um like yeah, Kenny well, like both Kenny and Justin didn't have a t- Kenny had better weapons, I guess, honestly, than than Justin Fields did. At one but- point they had the same weapons. It's true. The same weapon. That's true. Yeah. It's true. Very true. But yeah, you got to judge everyone on the same curve. I think you said this before we got on, but drop anyone into Kyle Shanahan's offense and let's see what they do and let's see how good they look. That's not yeah. to it's not to discredit Purdy. Like he he did what he was supposed to do in that offense, but I don't know. Like I think if Trey Lance, like there's a reason that Jimmy Garoppolo also won in that system. There's a reason Mr. Irrelevant could win in that system. You know, yeah. we'll we'll see if Brock Purdy even wins the starting job against Trey Lance. Like, I don't think that's a given either. Yeah, I kind of look at it like, look at it. if Kyle Shanahan's out here talking and people are actually believing 
that a guy like Sam Darnold is a franchise quarterback, like and has the franchise quarterback makings. What do we judge? Like, what is what what is the line here? Could anybody come in here and be a franchise quarterback in San Francisco? Because I believe that they could. Like, I genuinely believe that you could take any quarterback in the league, put them in Kyle Shanahan's offense, and they're they're not gonna, you know, some of them will probably play better than others, but everyone's gonna be fine. Nobody's gonna stink in Kyle Shanahan's offense. That's just how I look at it. Like, you know, if you're going to put, put Kenny Pickett in Kyle Shan, Shanahan's offense, see what he could do with it. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't work out. Maybe it does. I just, I don't know. The playing ground's weird when it comes to Kyle Shanahan. Like, I just think, I think he's just like the total opposite. And then at this, the other side of that, though, like with Justin Fields, he's got, I mean, possibly the worst team in football. Kenny Pickett's got the worst play caller in football. Like, it's just... You know, it's different. Your your starting points are so drastically different. Like where Brock yeah. Purdy's started his NFL career is here, where Kenny Pickett started is here, where Justin Fields started is on the floor. Like not yeah. even anywhere close. So I, once you even them out, who's the better ones? I I don't know. I'm, I'm I'd put Justin Fields first of that three, and then I'd probably go Kenny Pickett, Brock Purdy. That's that's kind of how I feel about that. That seems very fair to me. That's probably how I'd do it too. 